Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. That's like a you know, own part of a recruiting business. That's that's the game that we play. That hiring technicians is we got to go get it the biggest pile of dog shit possible and have the best way to filter it. And like, there's there's great nuggets in that dog shit, but the process in our game is we got to get through all that dog shit um, yeah. and do that as efficiently as possible, and then try to connect the here's the the good ones with the business owner. Um, well, the, well and the tough part about that is too. So like, I forgot to add this piece of it. The biggest component is these people are, they're certified or they're accredited in something specific. Mm -hmm. So what we're building. So when you're talking healthcare, the whole, like, uh, it's almost like it's a, it's a marketplace, but it's like, it's probably closer to like an Upwork, but it's going to be, but it's on site. And so imagine like you needed a, it's a technician of some sort, like maybe it's a diesel tech or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There's not from anything that I that I've researched and seen that's definitely not mainstream. Where if you needed a diesel tech to come in and they were certified in this, 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 and this, for in theory, if they if they have all those you know certifications and they have experience, they check all the boxes, they should be able to show up, work on the project, and then leave over X amount of time. Yeah, like in theory, but like that's the one thing that you know is like whether this be a CPA. This can be a diesel technician. This can be a, a nurse, doctor, whatever it is. If they're certified, they've gone through all the, you know, all the steps to get that done. So I'm not saying they're going to be the best at it, but they have, they're, they're viable to walk through the door and work on it. Pre-qualified. Correct. And that's the biggest component of what this is, is that they should be able to show up and a lot of things like shifts and like small projects. And so there's per, per diem spaces and things like that that we're looking at because it's uh so in the next 10 years gig work like you guys we're already all seeing this like oh, there's yeah. no loyalty to companies anymore yep you know like people don't give a shit you know mostly the younger generations i got some cool data that i think anybody that you guys might be interested in too talking about gen z and some of the shifts back to the the, the employment it's uh the cards are moving over to the employment side again oh really Which, yeah, we're starting to see the trends, man. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. yeah, we can get into that. But yeah, I mean, those are those things where it's like people want, like, uh, it's the freedom to be able to do that. And now there's opportunities in that, whether it's the, the digital nomad or somebody's just like, you know what? I want to pick up extra shifts on, a, you know, I'm not making enough money. I want to work on the weekends. I want to do this, whatever it is. Yeah. The freedom to actually go bid on that and you're accredited and you know that you can show up and then you're going to know your way around, mm -hmm. that you're qualified to do that. It's just be aligning ourselves with industries and candidates that those, uh, I guess those, uh, those qualities or those specifics are determined. Yeah. Hey, home service heroes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our home service happy hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something and I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out.